Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm a product specialist at Ricotta. And in this video, we'll cover auxiliary inputs and outputs configuration. Think of an auxiliary input as a two-wire connection that detects if a circuit is closed or opened. You can wire things like buttons, toggle switches, walking pool stations, or even use the output of any dry relay. Powered signals should never be connected to the aux input. Additionally, with our peer-to-peer -peer and web connections between controllers, any aux input or output can be used to trigger responses on any controller in the site. Aux input and outputs can be used for a range of applications. First, let's cover the uses for inputs. Aux unlock, or the ability to have an input trigger any number of doors in the site to be unlocked for the defined duration. Schedule override, similar to our double badge feature, will set a door to be unlocked indefinitely until the signal is triggered again. Lockdown trigger, an input that operates similar to a panic button to trigger a site into a lockdown scenario. Aux monitor, a generic event that can be configured based on the input. This event can be used to create alerts or audit occurrences. Let's now configure an aux input. Navigate to the access control page, then click the controller tab across the top. Select the controller you want to configure the aux input on. Click add and select aux input. We will repeat these steps for an aux output later. Name the input. Select any context camera you would like to pair with the input. Select if the connection is NO or NC. Most standard two contact buttons and switches will be NO. Special cases like trigger on fail lockdown buttons and pool stations will have the option to support NC. Select if the wire is resistor cut supervised. Next, we will select what application we want to configure. For this case, we will just do a standard aux unlock. Set how long you would like the duration to be and the doors in the site that should be affected. You will now see your aux input within the doors and controllers menu, just like a regular door. Great. Now that we've covered aux inputs, let's review aux outputs. Think of an aux output of behaving like the dry output relay of a door port. The relay on the aux output can handle the same voltage and current limits by our regular door ports. If voltage is desired, the aux power pin can be connected to the C gate of the relay. Aux outputs can be used for a range of applications, like setting off a siren or indicator light if a door is opened, held opened, or forced, or locking down doors through outside hardware. To configure an aux output, we'll follow the same steps as we did earlier. Click Add and select Aux Output. Enter a name and select a port. Then select your event type. We will use Door Forced Open for this demonstration. You can resolve and deactivate an aux output using several types of events, including a door being opened or closed, access being granted, a lockdown being activated or released, and many more. You can see the full list of events in the help article linked in the description below. For this example, we will choose to have the door forced open. We will set aux output events resolved for when the door is closed. Multiple doors can be combined into the same aux output for events. This is great for when the doors are adjacent to each other and only a single indicator device is needed. You may find for some special cases that you want more aux outputs for a given controller. The Vercata X11 IO controller is an expander board that allows for 16 additional inputs and outputs and is connected to all controllers at the site through our local peer-to-peer -peer networking. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.